I would have looked at it that way if Shannon left of his own volition. I'm telling you he didn't. Oh, I'm telling okay. you he was pushed out. That's the, that's the first time I've ever heard and, that. Well, I'm telling you, and it's fact. Now, they could deny it. He wouldn't. I can promise you that. He was pushed out. He didn't want to leave. Mm. He was notified that your services would no longer be needed. But again, that's his story to of tell. Course. But I'm telling you what I know. I'm giving you facts. And so when I saw that, mm. it wasn't just that I know the brother's talented. It wasn't just that I know he's a three-time Super Bowl champion and an NFL Hall of Famer. It wasn't just that I knew that he had been doing television the last six years. I saw me from the standpoint of I was let go in 2009. And this is Burks Davis on the check-in. So Stephen A. Smith was on the Joe Button podcast. The funny thing is, he's going to say that it's for Shannon's story to tell. And then he sits on the couch and tells it. I mean, I'm not too surprised here. Anybody that's a fan of Undisputed on Fox Sports could have easily saw that there's friction between Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless. You would take a personal shot at me. I should oh, take it, I mean, that, uh, Skip was throwing a lot of personal insults and shots at Shannon. You know, he go overboard with it. He go off topic with it. And, you know, it's Skip Bayless' show. So, of course, at the end of the day, he got the overall say and what goes on with production. But, you know, I've been watching it lately and it just ain't got that same feel to it. You know, I love Keyshawn Johnson to death. Paul's like, I think he got some really good takes, but I just think he's better as like a, a C mic, not as the main co-host per se. I mean, I know it's not just him, but you know, I only saw a couple of clips. You know, I saw Skip, you know, trying to debate him or bait him in with the LeBron debate. And, you know, can't nobody put Skip in a place like Shannon Sharp does. You know what I'm saying? Like Shannon, that's an aggressive type dude on the microphone. One, you ain't gonna over talk him. And two, he gonna over talk you if you let him. Like he, and he was always respectful in my opinion. He never went overboard in his debates. You know, things will get heated, but there's never a reason to throw personal insults when, you know, having debate about sports. You know, there's no place for that. And Stephen A. Smith, I mean, he's been through it before. You know, he used to be Skip's Bay List's uh, co host. So, you know, he saw this from a mile away and was like, yo, he already saw it. You know, he said it himself. And, you know, I watched Shannon. He's a star within himself. You know, I've been watching Club Shay Shay, and he definitely got a talent to be on a microphone. He's definitely a force to be reckoned with. And I said in a previous video, I hope he teams up with Stephen A. Smith, and look what happened. I think they're only on twice a week, but hey, that's good enough for me. Hopefully one day Shannon Sharp gets his own show because I love to hear him debate real talk. And like I said, don't nobody put Skip in his place like Shannon do. And I would love to see Shannon speak on what actually happened, but I got a strong feeling he ain't gone too out of respect for Skip. I mean, Skip did give him a chance, and I feel like Shannon is one of them type guys that are extremely loyal, and you know, he don't want to talk bad about somebody that gave him an opportunity, despite that person, you know, being disrespectful, wherever the case may be. But let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all like this new Undisputed. Y'all think Stephen A's bugging for speaking on Shannon's business. Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.